Hello, and welcome to the SAS Power Carbon Capture Test Facility, or CCTF. The facility is located at Shand Power Station in Estevan, Saskatchewan, near the SAS Power Boundary Dam CCS project. The facility takes in flue gas from the coal station and extracts the carbon dioxide using an amine chemical solution. The CCTF operates much like its sister project, but on a much smaller scale. The main goal of this facility is to provide monitoring capabilities and control over CCS processes so that the scientists can test and develop new CCS technologies in a practical environment. Let's take a closer look at what makes this facility unique and how it contributes in an important way to SAS Power's CCS expertise. Stairways are connecting all nine floors of the facility, giving scientists access to every part of the process. The building encloses all parts in a heated and cooled environment. This provides the vendors using the facility with excellent conditions for testing, taking measurements, and even adding and subtracting pieces to the process. The amine chemical solution used to strip CO2 from the flue gas can be kept at a precise flow and temperature all the way through the process equipment. Samples can then be taken at multiple sampling stations throughout the process. It allows researchers to monitor changes in the solution at every stage and condition during testing. This crane can lift up to six tons and is used to lift and lower items that are too heavy or bulky to be carried up the stairs, such as instruments and supplies used for specialized measurements or experimental gear. Once the item is on the correct floor, workers can disconnect it from the crane and move it into position. In a slightly different process than used within the Boundary Dam CCS project, the CCTF can remove sulfur dioxide from flue gas using a scrubber. This process involves both cooling water and caustic showering down onto the flue gas being sent up the scrubber. Water cools the hot flue gas while caustic is used to strip out its emissions. The flue gas is then sent onto the absorber for CO2 extraction. As the absorber and desorber allow the amine to absorb or release carbon dioxide from the exhaust of the coal plant, vendors can access one of 18 sampling stations to make accurate measurements and carry out tests. They can also, if the plant is off, physically access the inside of some of the critical components. They can inspect or even replace packing used to distribute amine to improve the ability to capture emissions. Beyond the sampling stations, the CCTF contains numerous highly sophisticated measurement technologies that allow for manual or automatic collection of samples and data. The facility's analytical instrumentation can take real-time readings and send them to the monitoring system. The collected data can then be sent to the vendor for analysis and interpretation. Once the carbon dioxide and amine have finished a capture cycle, the reflux drum cools and washes any residual amine out of the exhaust to make sure exhaust from the CCTF does not contain any chemicals used in the process. This all means that the next generation of CCS technology may very well be developed in Saskatchewan, allowing SAS Power and the world to keep reducing the carbon footprint of power production and keep moving forward with the solution for global climate change. SAS Power is leading the way with CCS technology, and we invite global organizations to join us. Come see how we've helped make CCS a reality on a commercial scale and how we can help you do the same.